All right, so some people were wondering how to overlay the Tesla telemetry on top of a video. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to need a couple programs. The first one is Race Render. It's free if you want to do a video less than three minutes. So you can either just do each lap as its own video, or you can buy the full version and do a longer race. Um, the other one is you'll need something to open a CSV file, either Excel or like Google Sheets, something like that. And we're going to use Excel today. So in order to get this file ready, this is what your telemetry file looks like when you pull it off of the Tesla. Uh, we're going to just have to do some things to it so that you can import it into Race Render without any issues. So along here, the left most uh, table here is, or row is the laps. So it'll change, you know, zero, then one, two, three for each lap. And then a lapse time right here. This is in milliseconds. And that's actually the row that we're going to be editing. And what happens is if you have the Tesla counting your laps, every lap it's going to start time over. When you go to re or when you go to import this into race render, every time the lap starts over, it thinks that the session is done. So it's only going to let you make a video for one lap. In order to change that, we need to just go to the end of the first lap, which on here is zero until we see lap one. All right, so right here is the last cell of lap zero. What we need to do is copy this because we're going to add it to every number in lap one. I've already done it, so that's why it's consecutive. It says 131, 929, and then 131, 989. That's because this number here originally was just 60. So what we do is we copy this, you can see the little dots moving around, and then we click the first cell of the next lap. Once we do that, we have to go down and find the last cell of that same lap. So here's where lap two starts. So we would go to the last cell of lap one and hold shift first, and then click it. Now we've highlighted every cell in lap one. Once that's done, we can right click it, go to paste special, and hit add, and then hit OK. What that's going to do, it's going to add the last cell from lap zero, or the previous lap, to every cell in this lap, so that we keep time going consecutively. And you need to do that for every lap. So we'll just pretend we did lap one already. So here's lap two. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the end of lap one after we've already corrected it. Hit control copy. Click the first cell of lap two. And then the same thing. Look for the end of lap two. hold shift when we find it. And now we've highlighted every cell in lap two. Right click, paste special, add, hit OK, and then it will do that. And you do that for every lap and you can see mine are all consecutive. Once that's done, you can save it. I recommend saving it as a different name so that you don't overwrite your original file just in case. And then we can now import it to race render. So if we go into race render, first thing it asks you is what kind of data you're going to do. We're just going to do a data overlay simple. So it's one video and telemetry. If you had like a rear view GoPro on or something like that, you could use the rear view mirror. And then there's other options too. So video, go to add video file. Mine's on the desktop. It says no audio is 
found, that's fine. Tesla doesn't have any audio. That's why I recommend doing another camera or something for your audio. And then add data, same thing. There's the telemetry, hit OK. And then this is for your gauge cluster, basically. So you can choose whatever type of gauges you want. Once you're in there, you can go back and edit all of your gauges. Right here is just like a simple breakdown of some of the gauges that you're going to have. Just hit OK. And then once you're in here, chances are this video doesn't sync with your telemetry perfectly. So the way that we get that to work is go to side by side. And on the left you have the track map, on the right you have your video. So what you're trying to do is this is your reference on the right. And this is what you're going to change to match up to your right reference. So what I do is I find the straightaway and come back a little bit until I get right when I'm clearing the edge of the turn and I'm about to hit this perfectly straight part of the track you can see my red dot still back here in the turn so we need to sync it up to the beginning so this is just moving a couple frames at a time and we're probably close right about here so then you can let it play We'll just get to the end of this straight right here. And this is when we start to turn in. You can see I'm starting to turn in, but this is still a little bit behind. So we'll move it a couple frames, play. All right, now let's see when we start making this left. Okay, couple frames play. Now we're coming out of the left and we're coming out of the left on here. So it's probably not perfect right now. You'll be able to play with this, but that's just how you sync it up. Hit OK. And from here you can either choose to create the video or we'll just back out. And then this is where you can take your gauges and move them around or even add a gauge in order to add something. Like let's say we want to add the state of charge of the Tesla. You can do add, we'll just do a bar, and here you can change you know, what kind of bar you want. Let's just do this like horizontal bar like that. On the right here it says field. You want to go to state of charge, percentage, and then there you go. So we started with 67%. If I go along in this video you can see it just drops. And then that's how you do that. Now we can, you know, let's just say we're ready to save the video, create video, save the current project you want to. And here you can probably just do 720p because the Tesla is not real high resolution and I didn't notice any loss really from doing that. So you do 720p, you could do entire project or you could just do like lap so you could do all your full laps from lap one to lap six and then start rendering. That will save the file onto your computer so that it's ready to upload. And you should be all set. Now one thing is, is if your video is not working when you pull it into race render, then it's a problem with encoding the type of video that Tesla puts out. So if that's the case, you need something called VLC Media Player or some type of converter that will convert the file to something that Race Render can read. And in order to do that, we could just go to Convert, Save, Add. Here's the lap. And then do Convert, Save. And you can just leave it like this, Video H.264. They're actually the same format, but for some reason the Tesla one, uh, some video players have trouble encoding it. So if that's the case, just do that. Name your output file by going to browse or whatever. And hit start. And it should put it in a format that Race Render can read.
hope that helps out. Let me know if you got any questions.